Hey everybody, we're doing a video today about our toolbar and one of the specific tools which is really only available in the toolbar or by key command. So if you've been watching my videos, you see my screen looking like this almost all the time because I rarely use the actual toolbar. This is uh, up on the top of the screen, this is the control bar and the toolbar, if you want to easily open it, you can just hover right at the seam here and pull it down. So this is the toolbar. And uh, we can customize the toolbar by right clicking. You can see a bunch of features here. If you are someone like me and don't always remember all of the key commands, well, you can customize a few things here uh, like exporting or we have automation quick access. We could do a video about that at some point if you're interested. But there's a lot of like little features that we can put up here in our toolbar. Well, two of them, the note repeat and spot erase, these are two that are only available either here or by key command. There's no menu options or anything like that. And those are the two I want to talk about today. Uh, the note repeat is really, really, really useful tool. And uh, it's really a uh, good tool to use in conjunction with something like the step sequencer uh, or some of your other features here. But with the note repeat, let me go over what it does real quick. And we have three different columns here. We have the rate. So that's how uh, fast uh, the notes are going to play by default. The velocity, that's how loud they're going to end up being. And then we have a gate, so how long they're going to be. I typically use the first two more often than the last one, at least in a more dynamic way. And so you can see here, uh, with it expanded, this is the default look. When you expand it, you can choose some variance in each of these parameters. So for the first one, we have our rate. So if we do a 16th note, let's just turn these off for a second. Um, I'm holding down a note and just holding it. And it plays 16th notes as I hold it. So it's going to uh, push that value out. Now, if we record... It actually puts that data into our MIDI file as the value of whatever the note repeat module is set to. So that's kind of cool. Then we can adjust it. We can do it using any of our controllers here, pitch bend, mod wheel, or aftertouch. I prefer aftertouch. That means uh, if your keyboard is capable of doing aftertouch, I can hold it down and as I push further, uh, it'll actually go between the min and the max values. So it really makes more sense for me not to have it up to the 64th note, but just to do 16th and 32nd. something like that, or even up to the triplet. So we could do like third, let's see, the 16th note. We could do dotted 16th notes or the 16th note triplets. And so you get a variety of ideas of what you could do with that. Next, we have the velocity. We can do the same thing with the aftertouch. So we can get velocity, make it louder as we push harder. Of course, we can always do both of these. I wish I could do the inverse. Well, we could actually um, by just reversing the values there. So it actually, as we got softer, go faster, etc. And then the same thing with the gate as well. 
So all of these then we write into our MIDI region. The last part of this is the remote, which allows us to activate the note repeat or the spot erase. Go between the different values here. And we can do a similar thing without using the velocity, but using kind of like a remote control with MIDI down in the, the C0, C-1 area down there, lower part of the left part of a larger keyboard. So then in terms of actually using this in a project, one of the really cool things we can do, let's delete that for now, is loop a recording and have each of these parts put in there. So for instance, uh, we're gonna just check our recording settings. With MIDI, we want it to merge either with the cycle on in this case, but even if it was off, I'm gonna, I would turn it on for that. So it's gonna merge. That means every time we record more onto this track, that MIDI data gets written into the file. That's what I want for the moment. Now, because, and this is important, the note repeat isn't uh, doing a real-time process later. That means as I do this, if I push harder and it goes to the 30-second note, all of those will be written into the region and not just triggered using the note repeat later. That means I can do pass after pass and it will keep some of this data in place. Uh, the reason why that's important is because with Logic, currently, uh, we don't have a lot of the uh, some of the advanced new MIDI features where I can have aftertouch on a per note basis. And this keyboard I'm using doesn't have that anyway. But um, so if I'm doing like uh, two different sounds and I push down harder, it's going to increase both of them in terms of the rate if I'm doing it simultaneously. So I don't want to do it simultaneously. I want to loop this and, and put them in. So let's do this. I'm gonna put my headphones on for a second. So I got the first pass. And I wanna do more like, uh, let's do quarter notes up to 16th notes. And I actually switched it to 30 seconds just to add a little variety in there. So now we're layering in some other things. And you can see the data is no longer interacting with each other. That hi-hat and the, the, the kick are all separate now, but have been written in there. Okay, so say we've got this pattern, but we don't really wanna like stop what we're doing. One of the cool things about the key remote is we can go into spot erase mode, uh, or if we just wanna switch into spot erase mode, we can. And now, anytime we push one of these corresponding keys, it will erase whatever's below it. So, So I can actually go through and use the same keys as these notes are corresponding with to erase some of the data. And then I can close that down and we have a final patch. And so it's really fun way to create rhythms, 
with alternating um, velocities and different patterns, all with a tactile experience rather than having to write it in all by hand. And then we can add in keys and other stuff like that. And just keep on going from there. Okay, that's what I want to show you. Uh, these two really awesome tools, the Note Repeat and Spot Erase, and uh, just give you an update on uh, that they're still there and still very functional. And um, hopefully you'll be able to find some use for these in your own projects.